Hello and welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday. My name is Ko Shukuna and I'm an artist and I love drawing. And since you are here, I think you love drawing too. And today I have a video from the archives. This one is from 2014, which is quite a while ago. And every time I look at videos from back when, I cringe a little, but on the other hand, I also really like seeing how I have grown as a video maker, as an artist and as a teacher. And this is something I would like to encourage you to do as well. Every now and then flip through your old sketchbooks and look at them and see how great the drawings actually are. See how your style has developed right now and just acknowledge the fact that you have been learning and you keep going and you are growing as an artist. And that is just such a gift and so great to experience. So keep going and do it. And we tend to compare ourselves to others, to better artists, to more accomplished artists, to people who are more talented than we are, right? Let's not do that. You are exactly where you need to be and you cannot compare yourself to someone else or your beginning uh, to someone's middle, you know. So if you want to compare, compare you to yourself, to your earlier self. Okay, so that's just a tip. And uh, today I am showing you an oldie, but still a good one. I think it's about drawing hands and we can all use a little bit of help to um, get better at that, right? Here it is, including a um, retro intro. <laughs> Have fun. Welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday. Many people find it hard to draw hands. Why would it be any harder than drawing anything else? The way I practice drawing hands is to use my non-drawing hand as a model, or I take a photo of my hand, or I use photos in the newspaper or in magazines for example. So today I'm using a photo for reference and I will draw on grey paper using color pencils, a black one and a white one. You can first start drawing the outline, but you can also just start somewhere and then draw what your eyes see at first glance. I focus not on the fact that I'm drawing a hand with fingers and knuckles and wrinkles. I mainly focus on the shadows and draw these. I look for reference points to keep an eye on the proportions. As I go, I draw the patches of shadow that I see and add another layer at the darker areas. The longer I look at the photo, I will notice more details and gradations, so I get back at these areas to add some. Once I have the shape and sense of form that I was looking for, I will add a bit more depth by lifting the lighter areas up using the white pencil. It works very nice on the grey paper, which now isn't just a background color, but part of the grey tones of the drawing. I add some white to the background for some extra structure and liveliness. And I'm done! Thank you for watching this video! If you'd like to learn more, have a look at my website, koshukuna.nl. You will find the classes that I teach and maybe I see you in class soon. Okay, the website in the outro is koshukuna.com and things have changed since 2014. For example, I founded Sketchbook School and created courses there. <laughs> but now I am on koshukuna.com and I do have workshops and stuff to teach. So head on over if you are interested in learning. And um, of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to this channel. Then I'll see you next week. Bye.